Hi guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. Today I am going to talk to you about plant-based diet. So recently we talked about the Mediterranean diet. Now you're uh, somewhat you know, aware of it and uh, some of it may like it, some of you may not have liked it. But the bottom line is, it is the only diet that actually makes you live longer. Now, what is really Mediterranean diet is mostly plant-based, right? And there's some fish and some chicken. Now, uh, people are asking, like, how do I really come up with this plant-based diet? Yeah, you tell me, eat this, eat that, you know, but, but how do you really prepare that? I think the biggest challenge that my patients are experiencing is basically you know they just don't know how to do it they're not used to it especially in america people have a slight idea of what a mediterranean diet is but they don't really know how to prepare those foods now they may prepare salmon but they don't really know what to put next to salmon in terms of vegetables right so i was looking around and i found splendid spoon uh, which is uh, a company uh, that apparently makes plant-based uh, ready to go uh, already freshly cooked and served to your door uh, another thing that diabetics also have to pay attention is portion control. So when I talk about portion, people have really no idea. They, they think about the big portion that, that they get served in a restaurant. That's not a portion control. That's overly proportioned, right? So as a diabetic, you have to really know. Now, Splendid Spoon prepares you a really nicely uh, made, just like this, uh, sent to your home. It's already cooked. It's already in a plate. So you don't even have to do dishes. So it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna try this. So, so I'm gonna try this first time, and I'll tell you right now how it tastes. Hmm. Oh wow. That's really good. So, anyways, that's really good. So what is in here? Let's have a look at here. So organic brown rice, organic kale, chickpeas, coconut milk. Oh, I love coconut. That's why it tastes good to me. Um, water. <laughs> I haven't seen a water here. Obviously, they use some water in there. Uh, yellow onion, cajus, and garlic, white vinegar, lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil, turmeric, curry powder. Oh my god, this is like a medicine in vegetable bowl. So, like, what are the really benefits of this? Like, some people maybe think like, oh, this is vegetables. I can't eat that. Well, good luck with that. And you're not going to live another 20 years. Seriously. Vegetables, the plant-based diet has been proven so many times. Is scientifically proven so many times it prevents cancer it prevents chronic diseases including diabetes so if you really want to have a healthy life really healthy life like you can still have a long life because with the advance in medicine we can give you steroids we can give you a whole bunch of medicines and make you live longer until you're 80 90 miserably but is that really a life so you need to embrace a lifestyle that can give you a life that you feel good and to feel good, you have to eat good. And to eat good, you have to eat plant-based protein. And that's what you do. And and since in America, I don't know where you're watching from, but we are busy, 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 busy. We are always busy. Uh, the last thing we think about is cooking food. Even then, uh, especially in South America, people don't really know how to cook plant-based diets. They know everything. They just want to fry everything. That's how it is. And I'm in South, so I know exactly firsthand. Most people did not even try this, so without trying, you can really not know what it is. You need to be open to different tastes and experiences, and you will probably like it, more than likely will like it. Now, what are the other benefits? When you're on a plant-based diet, you really can have a much better sleep. Now, a lot of people really feel horrible next day, and when I ask them, they say, yeah, I slept eight hours. Really? You know, they sleep, but that's not a good quality sleep because if when you're eating red meat, when you're eating saturated fats, and when you're eating uh, high, you know, refined sugars, your sleep is going to be horrible. So I don't call this sleep. I call this lying down. So if you want to improve your sleep, turn to vegetables and plant-based diet. And also colon cancer, another super huge common cancer. And that's typically due to excessive red meat consumption. Of course, genetic play a role. But when you're eating vegetables, your bowels will be faster because you're having a lot of fiber. Now, with this fiber passage, you're going to also pass all the carcinogens. All the antioxidants in the vegetables will clean up your guts. So as a result, you will have regular bowel movements, but also you will prevent colon cancer. Now, 
gastrointestinal system is the first entry of everything to your body, right? So it's either in inhalation or through your gastrointestinal system. All the toxins go through there. If you do not put the right things into your intestinal system, you will end up absorbing all the carcinogens. The vegetable, the plant-based diet, on the other hand, will help you eliminate and absorb all the toxic substances from your diet and then leave all the good things for you. So if you're diabetic, this is a diabetes channel, right? If you're diabetic, plant-based diet is still good for you. Now, a lot of people say, oh, I have to be on keto. Well, that's not correct because when you're on keto, especially if you're not careful, you're going to end up eating a lot of saturated fat. Your blood sugar may go down on keto diet. That doesn't mean that you're going to live longer. And here's why. Because when you're on a keto diet, typically what happens is your sugar goes down, right? But then you end up eating a lot of saturated fat. Diabetes is not just about blood sugars or elevated blood sugar that's called diabetes is the end result of insulin resistance. So you're not necessarily beating insulin resistance by just reducing your glucose. You may still be insulin resistant, although your sugars are down and it's just like an illusion. So when you put a, uh, the same patient on a plant-based diet and put them on a drug like Ozempic or Trulicity, bam, diabetes is gone. It's simple as that. Uh, actually, in my clinic, we always get people into remission uh, as simple as that. Put them on a plant-based diet, get them a, a medication that can help them lose weight and control their diabetes at the same time. With one single medication, 90% of the time, we can actually put your diabetes into remission. So you're going to be happy that you are transferred your life from Western diet to a plant-based diet that's going to move you towards the right direction with a much healthier and happier life. So I hope that was just helpful. And again, they have a variety of uh, different recipes. So with these recipes, you can pick and choose whatever you like, go ahead and order, give it a try, and then you let me know what you think. Write your comments below and we will definitely help you out. Have a great day. Thank you.